uh, approach to the extreme premature babies, we discussed that you need to decide in your unit which team is going to, but always allot the most experienced people right from the beginning for these babies. Preparedness is key. Think through the processes. Quality improvement is key as well. Anything goes wrong, you go back and look at it, see how you can improve it. And in terms of, uh, no, I mean, cot clamping uh, versus milking, we discussed that part. I would reinforce that. We discussed the temperature in the labor room and your dialogue with the obstetric colleagues as well to get their support. Obviously, they are going to support you and we have uh, documentation. We have articles to support that as well. So we have to have uh, as part of the perinatal meetings. And we discussed the approach to uh, the plastic bag, pulse oximeter, hat, and the non-invasive approach to ventilation, even in the 25 weeks onwards. So uh, what would you like to say as your closing remarks, Dr. Tala? Well, just to your point that you were saying that, you know, time is critical, um, that, you know, we kind of, I mentioned the golden hour, we're really trying to get these babies completely stabilized. Like our goal is to get these babies stable on the vent with their lines in, with their fluids running, antibiotics if necessary, if it was a, you know, choreo or whatever, by 60 minutes of life with the lid closed. And, you know, different hospitals I've worked in have used different approaches. So for you, your approach is to get out of the delivery room as quickly as possible. The other thing that I want to say is like going back to the golden hour is, you know, we the whole thing of CPAP is our goal is with these babies is to try to stimulate them in a negative way as, as little as possible. So we're using the minimum amount of support, um, which hopefully is CPAP. Um, or once we put them, if they are intubated, once we put them on the ventilator, we want to use the minimal amount of support that we can do. We should be as gentle as we can with them. There's a lot of talk about the head position if babies are intubated. These aren't babies that we want to be rough with at all. So, you know, a big part of these tiny preemie babies is trying to be as gentle as possible in that transition as they're slowly getting to the NICU. And that first hour is pretty intense, you know, with the EKG leads and the lines and then CPAP or whatever else. And so as we're touching them and being with them, everybody really does need to stay calm and gentle with the babies as well. Perfect. Just um, adding to that golden hour. You summed it up very beautifully. And I agree fully with you that what we are doing for the extreme premature or any baby in neonatology is supporting their physiology to adapt. Right. We are not treating them. We are supporting them and transitioning their physiology. Even if it is a severe PPH and it's the same, you understand what they're going through you support them and you give just what you need to support them. You never over treat the babies, never overdo your blood tests or anything like that. So